contrary to popular belief, you can't 3D print everything. A while back I made a 3D print ukulele, and I wanted a case for it. Now my printer was barely big enough to print the ukulele itself, so printing something that would be even bigger seemed out of the question unless I sliced it up a ton. So I decided just to sew one. Also, uh, sewing is cool. I've probably made about five or so soft cases for different instruments before, so I have a pretty good feel for this process. The things you'll need for this project is the fabric for the outside. I went with some flower printed canvas, some fabric for the lining, preferably something lightweight, some batting for padding, huh, batting for padding, um, and a zipper. The zipper needs to be long enough to fit your like ukulele through. Also, you should probably pick a better fabric combo than I did. Your first step is to cut out your pieces. The case is going to have three pieces. The front, the back, and then a long strip that goes all the way around the side. For the front and the back, I just traced around my ukulele, leaving about an inch margin, and cut it out. For the side, I found the widest part of my ukulele, which happened to be where the neck and body joined, and then ripped a long strip. Then I took that strip and used it to measure the circumference of the body, and then cut it to that length. You'll probably want it to be a few inches longer. Now you want to cut these three pieces out of your lining, batting, and outer fabric. I cut the lining a little bit bigger than I did the outer fabric because I wanted to leave extra room since we're going to be quilting it. I find that quilting things often cause them to shrink. Off of the long side strip, I cut a piece a few inches longer than the zipper. This is what we're going to be inserting the zipper into. These are all the pieces you should have in all three fabrics. A shorter side piece for your zipper, a longer side piece, and a front and a back body piece. I also cut some extra squares to make handles and pockets later. Next, you want to quilt your lining to your batting. This probably takes the longest time to do. I didn't feel like being fancy, so I just did straight lines. Next, I inserted the zipper. Now, you can put in the zipper a lot of ways. This is just the way I chose to do it. Cut a straight line the length of your zipper down the middle of both the outer and inner fabrics. Then cut some notches to create a small box. This is where your zipper will peek out. Place the right sides together and pin, and then sew around. Turn right side out and then press, and you should have a nice little hole. Sew your zipper into this hole. Now would be a great time to attach any pockets or straps to your outer fabric before you attach it to anything else. I sewed down one side of a square and then folded down the other three and attached it to the front to become a pocket. To handle by sewing a tube and stuffing some batting in it, but I forgot to attach it till the very end, so I kind of just gave up. Now, sew the end of your short side piece to the end of your long side piece. It will be a little bit awkward because the lining is also attached to the zipper. Sew the long piece all the way around the circumference of the body and then attach it to the other side of the short piece on the other side. Now take your other half of your body piece and attach it to the top, sewing all the way around the circumference again. Also will help if you make sure your zipper is open before you start this process. Now you should have an unlined case. Turn it inside out and do the exact same thing with the lining, making sure to leave a hole so you can turn it back right side out. Now I'm really oversimplifying this. This is probably the most difficult part of the project because you have to line up a curved piece with a straight piece, but take it slow and you'll be fine. Turn it right side out, tuck the lining into the shell, and you have it. You'll also want to sew up that hole that you left to turn inside out, but I didn't have any sewing needles, so I just left it. And my uke fits. I think I made the lining a little too big because it's a little bunchy at the top, but it's just more padding technically, so. Now, obviously this doesn't really offer any serious protection, but it's something to carry it in and I'll keep it from being scratched. If anyone out there with a bigger printer wants to print me a hard case, call me. 